One approach that can be helpful when planning, implementing, and evaluating a birth defect surveillance program is the use of logic models. A logic model is a visual representation of how the surveillance program will work. It can help identify existing resources, program needs, how these needs will be addressed and in what order, and how the outcomes are going to be achieved. Here's an example of how to design a logic model. Begin by creating a table like this, where you can place all relevant information about your program. Most often, logic models will include the following components. First, resources. What resources currently exist? What resources are needed to build or expand a surveillance program? Second, activities. What activities are needed for the surveillance program to achieve your goal? Keep in mind that each activity might have different intended audiences. Third, outputs. What are the expected outputs that will result from the activities? And last, outcomes. What are the short-term, intermediate, and long-term outcomes for each program area? What is the anticipated impact of the activities? The final two columns in this example include outcomes for program areas over different time periods and projected impacts. Remember, your logic model can change over time as your activities or goals change. More columns can be added as needed for your logic model. Now that you have all of your relevant information in the table, you can begin building your logic model. Logic models can have any shape, even round. They can have lines, columns, graphics, or a combination of these. You can decide how detailed you would like your logic model to be. You can make them broad or very specific. This example puts all of the components of the logic model together. The three columns on the left show the actions you plan for your surveillance program. All of your resources, activities, and outputs are included in what you plan to do. The circles on the right and the rectangle just below show what you hope your surveillance program will achieve. You communicate what outcomes and ultimate impacts you would like the program to have for your intended audiences and community. The arrows between the left and right sides of the logic model connect the actions you plan with the effect you would like your program to have. You have a visual summary of your program on one page. Although this example did not provide a column on evaluation, it is important to remember that each step should include an evaluation component to help identify gaps and additional needs that can be addressed in order to enhance your program. Logic models can also be created even before you have determined the details of how your program will work. Instead of developing a logic model from left to right, try starting on the right side with what you would like the program to accomplish over time and make a list of long-term outcomes. Next, move left on the logic model toward the immediate and short-term outcomes and list those. Then describe outputs, activities, and resources. By starting on the right side first, you can keep focused on what you want your program to accomplish while you plan how it will work. Keep in mind that you can use a logic model to plan your surveillance program, to communicate to others how your program will work and the impact you intend it to have, and to develop a framework for evaluating your program. What might your logic model look like?